Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here at the Southern District of New, of New York Courthouse. Buses are going by, but E.G. and Carol just went in. We have a couple of reports, updates on the Trump, Carol v. Trump case. Number one, at 10.30 last night, Sunday, Carol's attorneys filed a number of filings, but they were under seal about it because of the nature of the thing. We put in a letter seeking to unseal them because it's a public trial and we need to know what's happening, including whether it's about contempt of court. But at 5 a.m. this morning, Joe Tacopina, the lawyer for Mr. Trump, put in a motion for a mistrial based on rulings by Judge Kaplan, based on um, the threat, I guess, to Eric Trump, based on his, you know, this is a direct a quote as much as I can, his uh, truthful statements about Reed Hoffman's funding of the litigation. So in any case, it should continue with the cross-examination today at 10 o'clock. But I'm expecting some comments by Judge Kaplan at 10, hopefully on the request to unseal. We'll have to see. Other SDNY action. Oh, Miles Guo, there is still yet another update. The SEC case has been stayed, and Yvette Wang has asked for information from pretrial services, including uh, the notes taken at her interview. Um, but we have to turn to the economy, because overnight, uh, overnight, the U.S. government gave First Republic and its 84 branches to J.P. Morgan Chase. Now, it's ironic because, not ironic, J.P. Morgan Chase already controls more than 10% of the deposits in the country, so they actually shouldn't do it. They required a waiver, which apparently was given by the Office of the Comptroller of the Currency, which is a part of the Department of Treasury, which is a part of the administration, which says it's extremely committed to antitrust enforcement. This is about the most anti-competitive move you could make, and there were other bidders. Uh, finally, uh, for what it's worth, oh, there's also, as in terms of Chase, there's Jamie Dimon's are going to be deposed by order of Judge Judge Rakoff for on, on the Epstein links. So I don't know if, if uh, the OCC and Michael Sue considered that. In any event, the United Nations, Big Tony, and Tony Guterres is taking your money to go to Qatar to talk about recognizing the Taliban. Yes, his deputy let the cat out of the bag that uh, they want to take baby steps to recognizing the Taliban. What's Anthony Blinken done? We don't know. To be continued.